Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about how to draw atoms. And the drawings we're going to be making are actually Bohr models. These models are a little out of date, but they're the easiest thing for us to learn how to draw. So let's review a few concepts. Protons are going to be found in the nucleus, and they have a positive charge. Neutrons are also found in the nucleus, and they have a neutral charge. Or Okay, electrons are found outside the nucleus and have a negative charge. Electrons are found in energy levels, and in that first energy level, you can have two electrons. In that second energy level, you can have eight electrons, and then that third energy level, you can have eight electrons. Now, we do go beyond that, but in this class, we'll stick to those three energy levels, okay? So, the number of electrons are equal to the number of protons. And this is going to be true for a neutral atom. That's what we're going to be working with in our class. The atomic number uh, is going to be equal to the number of protons. The number of neutrons can be found by subtracting the atomic number from the mass. Okay, so now we're going to draw, draw some Bohr models, okay? So, lithium. Lithium has an atomic number of 3 and a mass number of 7. So, first we need to find the number of protons. The number of protons is 3. We know that because the atomic number is 3. So now we need to find the number of neutrons. The number of neutrons is going to be our mass minus our atomic number. So 7 minus 3 is 4. Okay, So here's our nucleus. So the nucleus is always that inner circle. So on our first energy level, we can have up to 2 electrons. So how many electrons total do we have? We have 3 electrons. So only 2 of them can go on that first energy level. And these electrons can go anywhere on that circle. does not matter. We have three total, so that means we have one more to go on that next circle, okay? So let's do neon here. Neon has 10 protons, and we know it has 10 protons because the atomic number is 10. Mass number this time is 20, so the neutrons is 10, so 20 minus 10 is 10. So this is our nucleus, okay? Now, number of electrons. Our electrons are going to be equal to our protons. So we have 10 electrons. On that first energy level, we have up to 2. And we have 10, so we're going to plop 2 on there. Again, they can go anywhere. We have 8 more. 10 minus 2 is 8, so uh, anywhere on there. We can fit up to 8, so I'm just going to plop. I'm going to plop all 8 on there. Um, and that we have 10, we need 10, so we're good to go. Now we're going to do helium. Okay, Helium's atomic number is 2, and mass number is 2. So our protons is 2, and our neutrons is mass minus atomic number, so that's 4 minus 2 is 2. There's our nucleus, okay? So it's very, very important here that we're not putting electrons on our nucleus, okay? We have two total electrons that we want to place. Um, I know that because my protons is two. So on that first energy level, I can fit all of my electrons. So I'm just going to plop them on there. Okay. Now, I have done three for you. So I'm going to go ahead and let you try a couple. 